The 1965 Rat Islands earthquake occurred at 5:01 Coordinated Universal Time on the 4th of February 1901, the 3rd of February local time. It had a magnitude of 8.7 and triggered a tsunami of over 10 meters on Simia Island, but caused very little damage. Topic. Tectonic setting The Rat Islands form part of the Aleutian Islands, a chain of volcanic islands forming an island arc, that results from the subduction of the Pacific Plate beneath the North American Plate. This plate boundary, the Alaska Aleutian Megathrust, has been the location of many megathrust earthquakes. Topic. Characteristics The 1965 Rat Islands earthquake share common features with the 1963 Kuril Islands earthquake and the 1964 Alaska earthquake. Topic. Earthquake The earthquake was associated with a 600 km long rupture along the plate boundary, based on the distribution of aftershocks. The pattern of energy release suggests the presence of three asperities along the plate interface, each causing a pulse of moment release. Modeling of the tsunami supports the idea that the earthquake consisted of three sub-events, related to three structural blocks within the overriding plate. The main shock was followed by an earthquake of magnitude 7.6 nearly two months later, that triggered a small tsunami. This was not an aftershock, but a normal fault event within the outer rise of the subducting plate, triggered by the earlier event. Topic. Tsunami The tsunami had a maximum run-up height of 10.7 meters on Simia Island, 2.0 meters at Amchitka Island, 1.6 meters at Attu Island and 1.1 meters in northern Kauai, Hawaii. It was also observed in Peru, Ecuador, Mexico, California, Japan and eastern Russia. Topic. Damage Flooding from the tsunami caused $10,000 worth of damage on Amchitka Island. Minor damage from the earthquake was recorded on both Attu and Simia Islands in the form of cracks in runways. Topic. See also List of earthquakes in 1965 List of earthquakes in Alaska List of earthquakes in the United States